Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to diagnose P0660 uh, variable intake manifold solenoid valve fault. This fault code is coming from variable intake manifold system. So first of all, very quickly, I'm gonna explain this system operation. So as we all know, uh, intake manifold is designed to provide sufficient amount of air to the engine for having a quality combustion. But even if the intake manifold is designed very well, uh, engine is gonna suffer at medium range of RPM. So that's why we need to come up with some solution to provide sufficient amount of air to the engine in all RPM. So that's exactly the time that we need to come up with this idea, which is variable intake manifold system. So this system is gonna actually change the air path inside the intake manifold at mid-range RPM and how by actually using the vacuum. So as you see, one hose, one vacuum hose from here, from intake manifold, is connected to this valve, which is actually the inlet to the valve and the other one is outlet. So when valve is operated, when valve is activated, vacuum from here is gonna travel all the way from here to that, to that a vacuum modulator which does have a, a diaphragm inside so vacuum is going to pull the diaphragm upward and that arm that i'm actually moving right now that arm is connected to the diaphragm when diaphragm moves upward it's going to pull this arm upward as well and the other end is connected to the shaft so that shaft goes all the way inside the intake manifold uh, which does have some valves as you see on the screen which does have some valves to change the air path inside the manifold so basically when engine is running at lowest speed and highest speed this valve is open so air can get into the cylinder from the shorter path that's what we call it short runner but on medium speed when this valve is operated valves will be closed so air has to travel a longer time that's what we call long runner this operation is going to help to increase the amount of air that we are delivering to the engine and of course it's going to end up to having a better performance at that engine rpm but let's go to the next step to see how we can diagnose this system when there is this fault code there are different ways to check the variable intake manifold system and i'm going to show you all of them one by one if you have the scan tool the easiest way is to check the system operation with the scan tool so as you see i have my scan tool here engine is running So I'm gonna select the engine. And after selecting the engine, you need to go for the actuation test. Let's scroll down to find variable intake manifold. I'm gonna select the variable intake manifold. You see the condition is engine is running. And as soon as I press start, system is gonna get activated. When I'm activating this device with the scan tool, I'm actually providing this vacuum from here to a vacuum modulator. If you look at this part of the vacuum modulator, uh, I'm gonna activate the solenoid with a scan tool and this arm should move up, rotating the shaft. Have a look at here. I'm activating right now. All right, activated, released. All right, so this is, this is exactly how system operates. Activate it again, and system released. But what if you don't have the scan tool to test the actuator? You can actually provide the positive and negative yourself. So I'm gonna use this a nine volt battery to provide the positive and negative myself. So I disconnect the connector and I have the positive and negative, I'm gonna provide it here, just like this. By doing this, when you are activating the solenoid from here, you should see that arm is moving uh, again. Have a look at it again, all right? I'm gonna activate it this time by battery voltage. Activate it, release. Activate it, release. Again, this confirms that solenoid is working properly so if you do this if you activate the solenoid with battery voltage and uh, there everything works fine but you still have the fault code 
problem could be from your wiring so right now i'm gonna show you guys how to test the wiring as well for checking the wiring i need to select voltage on my multimeter the black wire is the control line connected to the ecm and the gray one is coming from the fuse box which carries the battery voltage so it means when right now ignition switch is on uh on the gray one right here you can do the back probe as well but because i'm using these ones they're not going to damage the pin this one is actually the power supply coming the, from the fuse box so i'm going to measure just like this so as you see i'm getting 12.4 which means it's a battery voltage and this wiring is okay so if you are not getting the battery voltage in this case you need to go back and check the power supply and as you see in this case power supply is provided from one fuse inside the fuse box which is sensor one you're gonna need to go inside the fuse box and check that 10 amp fuse and the other one the black one right now if I check the voltage on the black it gives me 3.5 volt which is exactly what workshop manual tells us uh, this one is coming from the ECM that's why the voltage is different if you don't have proper voltage over here, you need to chase this wiring back from here all the way to ECM to make sure there is, to make sure there is no open or short circuit. If you apply the positive and negative on solenoid and you still see that a uh, variable intake manifold system is not working, the problem could be from the solenoid valve itself. For confirming this, we can actually test the solenoid valve internal resistance as well. So I'm gonna use the multimeter I set the I set my multimeter on resistance and I need to measure the resistance across these two pins over here so as you see I'm getting 34 ohms which is exactly within the range for this specific car but of course for your car you might need to check the specification on the workshop manual as well all right, thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.